the entire my entire timeline is playing dwarf fortress right now um if it wasn't for my like absolute stubbornness uh i would be playing dwarf fortress right now chat broke what do you mean chat broke you can't chat not working oh, oh okay hold on no that's that's not my i understand what you mean you mean on on stream hold on a second it's just that i haven't updated it dwarf's fortress um is there anyone in chat who's not familiar with dwarf fortress no listen that's a pretty good intro theme as well but it doesn't hold a candle <laughs> i'm afraid and it also gets me uh, absolutely shit canned on youtube so not that it matters i don't make any money from these streams not that that matters either how are you doing chat it's been a couple days i did a, i did my charity stream on saturday with alexa um they i think they accomplished all of their goals which is kind of nice that's that's really cool congratulations to them what, what is this why is viewer chat pinging me on my on my discord why is that a thing what huh all right well, <clears throat> wait this is the start of the viewer chat private channel use one big simple is streaming keep it classy what is this something i touched what did i do <clears throat> Um, Dwarf Fortress is, in fact, the was the original influence. I say influence or insp inspiration, but influence for Minecraft. Um, back when a certain certain developer was working on a Minecraft, who will remain unnamed. Isn't it unfortunate? Man, I don't want to be like starting stream already talking about artists who are, uh, you know, we must remove from their creation. But damn, if it isn't as instantly that topic when we talk about Minecraft. It's the original RimWorld? I I don't know if there's any kind as about it. I don't think RimWorld would exist without Door Fortress. I wish I could be on that stream. On the uh, on the Door Fortress theme uh, stream. Wasn't this game an inspiration? Oh, okay, this is strange. Screw Runa watchers, I guess. No, no, no. Listen. I just, I love that music so much. Um, before I get started, I, I want to tell you maybe a little bit why I like that theme. But uh, Dwarf Fortress is a game that's been worked on for like over 20 years. Kind of like Caves of Cud. Uh, and much like Caves of Cud, it's a game with many, many, many layers of complexity. And uh, I've never actually uh, understood Dwarf Fortress enough to actually play it because I am smooth-brained, and that's why I was so excited for uh, Door Fortress to have a launch on Steam is because they've been working on making it a lot more accessible, and that means that smooth brains like me can play it, finally. Um, <clears throat> it, the Door Fortress is a, an amazing game, and it's in literal museums, and, and I can't wait to play it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. No, on the charity stream. Oh. Well, he didn't really miss much, I'm a 10, if I'm being honest. Um, I did accomplish... So, the period, the charity stream on Saturday was interesting. Um, I did... Uh, I did three challenges. I did uh, Caves of Cud... La, um, I was about to say Library of Ruina. Uh, I did Caves of Cud, I did Alina of the Arena, and I did Brotato. I succeeded my Caves of Cud challenge, big surprise. Uh, and I failed my two other runs. Um, my... I feel like this is the case because the challenges uh, on Caves of Cud were, well, uh, needless to say, I, I, I would like to offer my services to uh, the Ultimate Pyramid devs, um, to put it very politely, uh, to, to offer some new uh, challenges for Caves of Cud, because I think that there's a lot. So, God, there's a lot of lot to talk about, apparently. Uh, you guys, do you remember, um, I, I made a Caves of Cud bingo sheet about a year ago that was, it would randomly generate a bingo sheet for you to play Caves of Cud alongside, and it would basically offer activities for you to try and accomplish, including things like get, get fungal infections, get randomly generated fungal infections, uh, visit enough randomly generated villages, 
uh, you know, go and make friends with this specific person, that specific person, go and drink various uh, liquids. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of, I, I want to, I want to take what I learned and what I built from there and maybe, maybe try and uh, cram it in uh, some of it. Uh, if I'm going to be so bold as cram it a little bit of it into a uh, pyramid challenge, because I think that it could use a bit more of a, a, a seasoned touch. Not that I think that the challenges are, are not challenging enough. That's not the problem necessarily. They just, um. I don't know. They seem a little bit um, light. They, I, I don't think that the, a game should necessarily be harder. If you're if you've played it for like a hundred hours, I don't think that you necessarily should want the game to be harder. I just think that if you're gonna make challenges for it, they should be interesting in some ways. But those are my thoughts, and I'm I'm hoping that they are uh, respectful. I'm excited for everyone playing Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is such an interesting game. Um, I'd like to talk about it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Library of Rowena. Um, what 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 notes did we leave off on last? I believe I burned some of these books because I see that all of the important stuff are gone. Um, I can't remember. Uh, I'm a ten. Did did I was I given? Did you give me a build? to try and complete the Tifereth floor, or was I going to try and complete that with my current set? Too expensive for me, I'll play it vicariously through Bimple. Bingo for Ka... Uh, for Caves of Cud. <laughs> I had surprising amounts of fun, Have, haven't partied that hard for ages, and I thought my antisocial nerd soul wouldn't enjoy that at all. I came for the Goth Girls, but stayed for the fun. Nice. I'm glad you had fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one more time before we just to get warmed up. I, I need I need a good uh, fail failure to get the ball rolling. You know what I mean? We're not gonna pee brain that. I don't know why I pressed that button. Um. Okay. I need to remember how to play this game, as is the theme every single week. Boost Pierce. All right. There weak to pierce so we're going to be doing pierce damage i remember now let's just go ahead and uh, absolutely wail on them you never know sometimes taking a break from a game you come back and then you absolutely destroy it do you think that'll be the case today or do you think that i will just get stomped as is usually the case Hey David, how are you doing? Please do not get staggered. If you get staggered, that would be bad. Okay, so now they're in their, uh, you know, mode. Let's put these on. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is, this guy is getting stomped by two different people. Now, I seem to recall last time I was having a really hard time about this because I couldn't seem to beat any of the rolls like I was just having the hardest time beating the rolls and um, and it was just not working out for me at all I don't think that this is the right deck this seems to be very like slow I don't think that this is it I could be wrong I can't do tailoring no now I remember I was gonna do tailoring um, did I use up tailoring to, to set up this mode? Okay, well that was one, that's one sword done. I was gonna say, it would be obscenely lucky if I could get even two swords. It just, I need tailoring. Okay, there's tailoring. Tailoring is, I think, my best chance of uh, beating these swords. Okay, so this is good. Just don't... Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Second sword done. What about the third sword? Could I get lucky? Hey, we got lucky. We got three swords done. Hello, twin. Is twin swords here? Thank you, need pierce on tip floor. I, I do have pierce. 
Actually, we don't need restore. I don't know why I selected that. Restore two light, boost pierce damage. Okay, so we'll do that out of lack of anything more interesting. Um, draw one page, that would be good. And then we'll do mend weapon. Actually, um, I can... It, does mend weapon happen first? Is it left to right? I'm sure people are really sick and tired of me asking very, like, obvious questions. If I killed her on this first turn, that would be amazing. That would be so good. It's not gonna happen, but, you know, one can hope. Alright. Now, if I could just survive another volley, I could potentially win this. You guys celebrate the 6th of December, St. Nicholas Day? I celebrate, uh, Dorf Day. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever today was before, it's now Dorf Day. <laughs> that's that's not fair or kind, but um, yeah, no, I don't. I, I have no idea. What? How do you? How does one celebrate Dorf Day? If you don't mind me asking. I don't know why you would mind me asking, but you know. so I'm gonna try and clash. This is this is very bad. I can't. Oh, okay. Here we go. I need to dissuade that and then we need to clash there and i'm gonna let this one go through because i need to wail on this guy over here as much as possible okay this this might be good this is already pretty close got very unlucky there so we're gonna we're gonna have to do our second uh second phase without one of our nuggets unless i get lucky somehow oh really we have to do a, another volley of this. That's not good. Well, luckily, only well, one person is. We're gonna we're gonna have to do something about that. We have to clash that. This could be bad. I say it's bad. I mean, like, there's no way. I, I really don't have a lot of faith in my ability to beat this boss right now. Please, please kill it. Please. Oh, God. Yeah, another volley is required now. Luckily, that this is staggered. Let's do a refine. I know there's no reason to do a refine. Uh I need to clash, unfortunately, and the only thing I have are like a good attacks here. So I suppose what I could do is just, um, you know what? Let's let's do this. We're gonna do mend weapon here, and trans pierce here, and then this one is gonna do their refine. This should be enough to kill this lad over here. We'll do a mend weapon, and we'll do a mend weapon. I don't mind using those up because they don't they're not useful for the next phase Saint Nick puts out kit what It wait isn't Saint Nicholas Santa Claus Put our shoes out overnight and Saint Nicholas comes out and fills them with sweets Hmm Okay, I have an I have a chance here. We oh, I don't have enough. Damn it. Okay, well let's see. Maybe no, they, none of them have enough energy to do something. Okay, hold on. Six to eighteen. I could get lucky there. It'd be better. I think it would be better off doing that. Um, how do I see who's gonna go first? Like, how do I see the staging? Is there a way to tell when an attack is going to happen? Okay, we have enough for transpierce. That's good. Um, I really wish I could get that tailoring. So I'm just going to divert it so that uh, we can gain a bit of light. This is as good as I can do, really. Oh, 
okay well that's fine that was our no that's not fine that, i really needed that to wow nothing nothing happened nothing worked that's really bad because they're not gonna have enough light to to do a second volley here all right let's we'll do tailoring this, this one's staggered they're gonna die for sure um i can't really do anything about this best i can do is draw two actually i can't even do that i can only do men weapon so this is this is a fail for sure still suffer from muscle pains hey hey yes one sword there's potential here please please yes two swords holy crap i was not expecting two swords okay there they survived that's actually really good Okay, we just need to get this we just need to get this one sword done so this is three to eight so six to ten should be enough except i can't do that oh no oh no do i have enough for anything good here three to seven is the best i can do all right let's hope that three to seven works out it won't but here's here's hoping Please, please, yes. Yo, there's potential here. <gasps> Yo. Yo. Starting on a high note, I guess. I've been is it three weeks that I've been suffering that trash. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Hurry it up, will you? Don't nag me now. This is the fastest I can go. Even a snail would be faster than you. You that's the best I can do. You mother That's the best. Hey, where's the gabagoo? You mother All right, I'm done moving them. Sheesh, you've got a fiery, a fiery temper. Is that fiery or fiery, you think? Fiery, I think. I can't decide if I like the new look for DF. DF. I mean, it's definitely better, but at the same time, it was the only game I could play when I was bored at my workplace since no one recognized it as a game. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well, the good news, bot, is that they're going to be uh, updating the original version in tandem with the new version, so you can continue playing the old version. But I'll tell you what instantly wins my heart for the new version is the atmospheric perspective when you're um, on the surface. If you're like like several layers up in the sky and you're looking down at your uh, fortress you have like little a little tiny bit of a blue hue that sh like kind of uh communicates how far away you are and i really like that little touches like that i love it i love it so much where's the gabagool I just want to get done with what I can as quickly as possible. If you're so confident, why don't you tell me about your progress on learning about the city sciences? I don't know. What's the point when singularities violate all the known laws of physics anyway? I'm not even sure us librarians can be defined as living beings either. It's true. Singularities can be a huge obstacle to understanding the city. What do you mean by librarians being difficult to define though? That part got me curious. What do you think librarians are? Beings that aren't human, but kind of like humans? All librarians can only exist within the library. And they're reincarnations of the beings from the Lobotomy Corporation. Patron librarians being the Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Lapis. Lazuli. Sephiroth. And assistant librarians being the employees. I've heard similar explanations, yeah. 
former staff of Lobotomy Corp, we're given a new body, basically. Angela did her promise, yet the Sifiroth, Sephiroth, and the <laughs> Lapis, and the employees weren't the only ones to come back. The abnormalities did too, but because most of the systems and structures of Lobotomy Corp broke down, and a lot of their energy was exhausted from the light and the combat, uh, all the combat they had, they can't maintain a physical form. I would say misinterpretation, but you get used the, what you used was good. Maybe, yo, Jared, did your avatar get an up up upgrade? Let me see. No corruption in a bad way, per se. <clears throat> what ha what's Jared talking about? The name Santa Claus kind of sounds like Saint Nicholas if you pronounce it in a funny way. Saint Claus. Saint Saint Nicholas. Yeah, it is. I, I see it. Saint Nicholas. <laughs> I had a very th funny thought the other day. <laughs> uh, someone is like really naughty, like like billionaire naughty, you know, like uh, making the world a really awful place, naughty. And and instead of uh, you know, this is probably not an original thought now that I think about it, but instead of Santa Claus leaving a lump of coal in uh, in in their stocking, they. Uh, they just they just treat the chimney like a toilet and there's something very funny to me about santa claus on on your roof straining just like you know ho ho, ho. <laughs> elon musk in the living room with his stupid gun and his three cans of coke empty cans of coke what's that Santa Claus. Oh, too much gabagool. And, and the fireplace. Right. Childhood move destroyed. Moving on. Okay. I uh my 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 humor is an acquired taste, by which I mean no one wants to acquire it. Not even Elon Musk wants to pay forty-four billion dollars for my humor. That's never not going to be funny to me. On the other hand, the librarians have had their flesh restored, but they're psych uh, psycho psychologically unstable. They're psychologically unstable. Ho ho ho! <laughs> librarians ca carry abnormalities with them when they fight guests. And we're no exception. Oh, now I see. Still, it felt like we were just borrowing power from the abnormalities, not consumed by them. I changed my photo to a picture of a Clay Pedro figure that I made. It looks like it's... I'm seeing a very small version of it, but it looks like if uh, Pedro was um, like Pedro 64. You know? Yo, when does the pay, when does pay, Pedro Land 64 come out? I want that. Come on, Jared, I've been a good boy this year. Make my Christmas a good one. I want Pedro Land 64. Please. Although there have been a couple of moments where I felt as if I had almost crossed some kind of line. The so-called distortion occurs once you cross that line. And then Angela is adjusting things from behind the scenes to make sure that we don't. Sounds like we're dancing on a stage or something. <clears throat> it's just as you say, it feels strange to be the ones on the stage this time. Could this be Angela's little vendetta against you guys? It could be. Great. Then could you tell her to leave me out of this? Anyway, even if the assistant librarians and I were to face horrible de deaths we're, while receiving guests, we'd wake up with a reconstructed body once the library closes. That's something I would like to try someday. You know, just uh, set... Uh, Pedro Land's made in G Game Maker, right? Just turn the 3D option on. It's like a little checkbox, right? 
We still feel the fear of pain and death whenever we greet our guests. Do you know why? Because we forget. That's right, librarians forget the fact that they can revive while they're receiving guests. We have, no, we have to face each other feeling the same kind of desperation and dread that guests feel. We must prepare ourselves for death and agony every time we greet our guests. Yo, a real, real uplifting note here. How's that? Do you still think the library's invitations are dirty? Well, I guess that's fair enough, but strictly speaking, we do revive at the end, don't we? Not knowing about when we die is one thing, but still. It's still kind of dirty in that sense, in my opinion. Besides, even if we're relieved of all the pain when the library closes, the fact that we were, we were hurt still stands. 3D is semi-possible in Game Maker. I have seen some projects like Mario 64 being recreated in Game Maker. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, how is Chad doing? I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I'm attend that you had a good time at the party. Uh, what did I do on Sunday? I'm trying to think, what did I do? Oh, I, uh... No. What? Huh? Huh? I don't know what I did on Sunday. I think I just relaxed. Oh, I played, I think I played, uh, I played a bit more Alina of the Arena. Oh no, I remember, I made cookies. Now before Chad is like, oh, that's cool, that's nice. No, it was awful, honestly. Um, I, I went and visited my mom and we made cookies. And like every, just about every cookie we tried to make was like not great in a way. Like it just went awry and I was like not, not into it at all. Being Tiff Nugget is horrible. This is funny considering Tiff's floor and goal is for Tiff to brutalize all her teammates. I hope your back feels better. I'm looking into some, uh, into Another possible engine like Godot. I kind of I still want to learn Godot Um, my mom wanted to make cookies involving making caramel and as soon as she said that I was like oh, No Because I know exactly how fresh like annoying it is to make caramel and it, it went awry and I was uh, uh, Mm-hmm Anyway Besides, even if we're relieved of all the pain when the library closes, the fact that we were still hurt still stands. Don't you resent Angela for putting you on the stage and toying with you? If she could make this more painful for us, she would have already. I think Angela's actually caring for us in her own way. Back in Lobotomy Corp, employees were quite literally expendables, like in all the other corporations. But here, no librarian is left behind. At the very least, no one is left behind. Godot is such a mixed bag, but probably a good fit for something like a platformer, less so for more data-driven games. I'm gonna recreate Dwarf Fortress in Godot. Should have just bought the caramel. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can, can you? Can you just buy caramel? I gotta say, I admire your positive mindset. It's the wisdom that comes with age. You know, sometimes when I fall asleep and then wake up in this library, I don't feel like waking up ever again. No, it's not just here. I've always been like that, since long before I came here. I just didn't want to wake up from my dreams. But why? Because I'd have to start yet another dreary day with nothing to look forward to. You don't hold any expectations? Nope, I already threw all expectation for anything down the drain. <clears throat> it's all gonna fall into ruin soon enough. Me and this world I live in. I might be suffering from a severe case of that disease of the mind you guys were talking about after all. I still believe that we can become better. Well, you're free to believe whatever you want. All right, let's go prepare ourselves for another dance, shall we? Uh, is there anyone in chat who is not a nugget yet? We've got a Mackie. That could be a nugget. That could be chat. My main reason for wanting to try Godot are mostly the, fast, the fact that it's free, and much less costly. And game maker which requires buying a subscription to upload a game build that sounds silly 
<clears throat> okay, let's do the next one in the row here. This is going to be the opposite of last week where we didn't accomplish anything. Today we're going to accomplish many things. You enjoyed today's show? Laugh to your heart's content at the end of a weary life and maybe you could have a good eternity sleep. You never know, regular viewers of ours might get the chance to come on our stage in person. It would be so delightful to join me on the stage, wouldn't it? We'll be back at the same time tomorrow to bring you even more laughter. Nail your heads, everyone, and have a bloomy, splody night. <sighs> Equip Yasad with puppets, puppet pages. Wait, didn't I do this? Isn't this the uh, clown people again? It is the clown people. Okay, hold on. Equip Yasad with puppet pages. <laughs> Uh, I did equip them with puppet pages though Or do you mean like the actual combat pages aren't these the puppet pages I'm at hand But I did already You've got the passives as well Cool thing about Godot is that it's its own dedicated 2D and 3D settings. He did it already, I forgot. <laughs> Week three of I'm a Tan yelling <laughs> at Pimple. <laughs> That's okay. Mostly deserved. No worries. Am I fighting this lad with Yasad? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he did it already. <laughs> we gonna beat both Emma and a Knight of Despair, are we? Okay, so how does this work? Restore two light. Uh, draw one page. Inflict one feeble. Disarm and bind. Oh yeah, and we have counters now. I don't think I want to use a counter just yet. Or do I? Do I want to use a counter right away? Really setting out to do all that we failed at last week. I'm gonna send a drip remix of background song and discourse discord for anyone interested. Hey, what happened to my music? Did I not set it to loop? Stomped on, clown. Ouchies. Uh, I think you can buy caramel where I live. We can buy something like caramel or a different kind of caramel that we buy at a Mexican store. Oh.
Okay, so these these lads are oh my god, they're really focusing on this poor person over here. So what is he what is this guy? Okay, this guy is uh weak to all things. I'm just gonna hit them twice. Oh, whoops. This poor person over here is getting absolutely focused on. I don't know if there's much I can do about that, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is gonna suck. I'm afraid Go mimesis yo beat that line up Damn Damn it Oh, beat that little little dude up. Beat him up. Kill him. Yes. So who is getting the Abno pages? I don't know. Whoever has, I usually give it to whoever has the most stagger and health left. So uh, I'm gonna give it to Pedro. Pedro, you're getting uh, you're getting the stagger pa the Abno pages. Let me just set up my um, conflicts and then I can uh, start thinking about how I want to beat down this clown. Oh, this guy can't even attack. Damn it. Damn it. Beat the lion, Mimesis. Yo, kill that clown. Yo, is uh, is the it clown an abnormality? You think? Is it is the it clown like a singularity? Poor Emma, he's actually blind now. <laughs> Okay, Pedro's still doing good somehow. They just haven't been the focus of any attacks. So they're gonna get to uh, do some work. Okay, Mimesis. Mimesis is gonna get to beat that clown. Um, but we're gonna, they're also gonna beat that lion up. Time to absolutely stomp on this child over here. Not child, it's an elephant. I don't know why I said that. Don't read into that one, please. All right. <clears throat> Come on. Yes. Kill that monkey. I'm at yeah, the, the mimesis hit the, hit the lion. Stomp on the clown. Kill the clown. Oh, hey, Kinseed got 1.0. It's a Stardew Harvest Valley, like, from uh, Fable Developers. I think I have heard of that one. I would check it out. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of cleanup while we, uh, while we stomp on the clown. This, uh, the music in this is quite nostalgic for me because it kind of reminds me of the old, um, Disney cartoons. Not, now, when I say that, people are gonna get all kinds of ideas of what I mean, but, like, you know, the old, the really old, kind of, like, vaudevillian, uh, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse cartoons. 
I really enjoyed those as a kid. Mimesis, damn. Mimesis missed everything. Kill the clown. Kill them. Twin swords actually doing some work. I think that's twin swords. Might might not be twin swords. Clown is almost dead. DuckTales? DuckTales is a bit more recent than the ones I'm talking about. Wow. Pedro has taken zero damage. <laughs> is this Twin Swords here? It is Twin Swords. Look at that. I remembered. Wow, we're getting focused over here, huh? All right, we should be okay. Kill that lion! Almost dead. Lion is almost dead. Clown is dead. Book of Emma obtained. Elephant is staggered. Monkey is alive. Like the Mickey Mouse movies, like the Beanstalk one. Yeah, the, the Beanstalk one is, uh, they, they were made as filler for, um, the theater or like the movies. Um, but they're, they're, they're quite short, like eight to 10 minutes, you know, like they're, they're generally pretty short. Uh, the Beanstalk one is a good example, I think. I haven't seen the Beanstalk one in forever. The one that comes to my mind a lot. Yeah, actually, no, no, no. There's the one, um, Mickey the Giant Slayer is one of the most famous ones. I killed seven of them with one blow. And, and everyone thinks he's killed, uh, seven giants, but he, he actually meant flies. Ah, uh, there's something like really wonderful about those old cartoons. I love them so much. Okay. People in this universe started distorting and changed forms to an uh, not anomalous ones after Angela's shenanigans from the first game. It's the series with the rich duck who swims in gold coins. Bozo the Clown and his whole circus is an abnormality. The Jack and the Giant uh, Beanstalk story was a goodie. Have you ever killed a giant? I killed seven of them with one blow. And uh, the scene where Mickey goes and talks to the, the king. The, the animation, I mean, like, I know that a lot of that, those cartoons with me were, were exploitative to... Um, you know animators i understand this um but I, I still i love the animation in those cartoons so much when mickey like goes in and talks to the king and the king's like expressions is is it true you say you killed seven with one blow mickey still doesn't understand what's going on it's so good there's so much expression and 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 uh you know care put into those cartoons the giant smokes a cigar, yeah. The, the the whole giant scene where he's like, just kind of vibing in the hills, and uh, they show like they they show off his stature with just like simple stuff like what he's eating and and like he he grabs an entire hay bale and smokes it. I honestly thought the tall guy might break the library's entrance for a moment. Anyway, about the man who turned those people into freaks. You think he has something to do with the Blue Reverb's gang of musicians? It's too early to make such a conclusion. His purpose of sending people here seemed different from that of uh, the Blue Reverberation and those related to him. Basically, each single person in the city is distorted by some amount. Early stages of the distortions can be seen by only few. Like growing bee wings from one or black void eyes from another. There should be, uh, the devs for Library of Rowena and Lobotomy Corp should consider doing like a tabletop role playing core book. I think that people would really like that. I would love to like roll a character 
and like you can give your character like an abnormal abno power you could have a lot of fun the more i think about it honestly library of ruina universe is a really good uh setting for like a campaign because it, it borrows some from so many things like the whole scp thing used to like um kind of twist characters into something interesting is really cool his purpose of sending people here seemed different from that of the blue re reverberation and those related to him like the older animations of Disney. Hold on, I have to, I think I have to set is live chat different? They have some books. We can now put Pedro into a clown outfit. Absolutely. I had the same thing in mind for so long to be honest. There's something about him that differentiates him from ordinary humans. He could be a being of similar essence to the Blue Reverb's uh, accomplices in some ways. Neither of them look normal. That I can say for sure. We did it. Okay, I'm going to follow Imatan's advice and we're going to be doing just the bottom row. Um, before I do that, actually, shall I burn those clown books? And put some of them in Yasad? Did we not get the cool clown book? Do these are Pierce and Bash? We got sharp nails. Did I not get the cool book? Is there a cool book? Emma's page. Okay, there is a cool book. Do I want to um, equip Yasad with an Emma book? Because right now he's just got a puppet page too. I think the only one who didn't get a puppet page two was Pedro. Um... Is this saved? Uh, Olga, sword shot, discard. Did I did I save this? New blunt, blunt. Okay, so this is now saved as blunt. So what I should do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and empty this, and put. We're gonna go ahead and empty this as well. Because I, I don't I don't know how to do this properly. Confirm. And then we're gonna set Pedro up with puppet page two or maybe an Emma page. Now absolutely meta is to burn Emma books and equip Yasad with them. Clown plus puppet passives is absurd strong. Okay. Uh, in that case, is, um, obviously Emma's page is better than Noah's. Shall I equip Pedro with a puppet page too, since everyone else is going to get an Emma page? I'm going to go ahead and unequip all of this. I'm afraid I have to rebuild all of this. We ha we must rebuild. We have the technology. We have the books. We must... Rebuild. So we're gonna give um, Yasad here a Emma page. I'm just gonna set them up. I, I, I have a way of doing this that kind of works. Pedro is gonna get a um, puppet page two. So he gets technically gets an upgrade. I guess I can just throw a puppet page two that all is already fitted, so that works. Twin Swords is gonna get an Emma's page. You can't even equip Noah page. Check HP of that page. Oh no. I can't oh wait oh I see Noah's page is bad it is is so bad that you can't even use it oh wow wow that's bad 
Okay. Good to know. So is it just used for the passive? Ranged attack damage plus one. Yo, ranged? So is this used for a uh, firing squad? Can Pedro get a gun? Um, so unfortunately, no, uh, Jared, unless I transfer Pedro to a different team, to the firing squad team, because the thing is, is that you kind of need to do the whole team as a firing squad. You can't, you can't, it's all or nothing, I'm afraid. I wish you could equip it still. Okay, so, um, we're going to, uh, set everyone up with the previous build, but let me ask, um, I'm a 10, is this build still valid or shall I, uh, should I swap some new cards in? Okay, that's fine and then uh twin swords you're gonna get like i'm gonna i'm gonna do it and then uh what i'll do is i'll uh i'll wait for you to let me know passive isn't really worth it sadly even for the firing squad that's surprising to me okay so what um what do we have right now we have speed obviously high level acrobatics when using a page whose original cost is three or higher all dice on that page gain plus one power and then blunt dice power plus one cool 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 um do we have any can we do blunt right blunt dice power so we're gonna want on a successful successful blunt attack deal two bonus stagger damage so we're gonna want puppet page on there for sure is that it could that just be it or do we want mumu wasn't mumu uh good for blunt yes Mumu is good for blunt. I can't remember who, like, don't, isn't there a bunch of people that have Mumu? We'll do concussion and puppet skeleton, and then um, we could do squeak squeak, or we could do improv drumming, which I think is better. I, I think fragile is better than one to two bonus damage. Hell yeah, it's valid. You want puppet own all the Emmas. I, I think I have all of the Emmas. There's only you can only get three Emma pages. I have to. I'm gonna have to hunt down who has all of the uh, Moo Moo pages because someone does. Someone's got the freaking Moo Moo pages. Who's got the Moo Moo pages? Who has them? I say you use Puppet One instead of Puppet Two to save the speed dice. Really? I have speed dice. I've got Dante if I really need the speed dice. Oh, I see. You mean don't... Oh, okay. Hold on a second. I, I, I see what you're saying. You mean on Yasad 1, don't use a puppet page 2. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. We can use this instead. But then, uh, don't we, we, we miss out on something? Don't we miss out on one of the other passives? What is the other passive? Concussion. We miss out on concussion if we do that. I mean, I don't mind. I don't, I don't really care, but I'll wait for a consensus on chat from chat before I, I do that. Okay, so I have to look for Mumu. I'm gonna have to look for Mumu and figure out what is going on with Mumu. Uh, key page, equipped page, Mumu. Okay, I can't find out that way. Mumu. Is there only, okay, There, there is a bunch of Mumus, but where are the passives? Can I not use the passives if they're equipped? I guess that's true, right? Empty bookshelf. Revert attribution. Let's do that. Um, this is also using bashing. Empty it. I don't care. 
I, this is a i'm gonna have to do some work later because i don't know what i'm doing right now i I'm, i've clearly just destroyed someone else's build but i don't care because um mumu is is good on yasad i'd rather have one really good team than another team sharing that you know that goodness you know uh, where which where is mumu is it like what 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 uh okay that's way too long ago hold on a second noah meow where is mumu i i i reverted attribution do i have to unequip it as well other passes from puppet 2 is great though yeah i mean i see uh i see like reasons I, I see value in both methods. Mumu's page. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, Mumu. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Equip. I don't want to equip it. I just want to remove it. You need to revert attribution as you can't attribute cards that have passives on them. That's right. But the game doesn't make it super easy for me. Key page, moo moo. Oh, there they are. Okay, they were available. I just, uh, I was not finding them. Okay, squeak squeak and improv drumming. Um, and then let's do that for all of them just to start with. They're all gonna get a Moo Moo. And also, uh, whoops, and also a, uh, puppet. Do we want to do page two or page one? Have we reached a... Wait. Oh, you know what? Um, this is... This is Pedro, so he doesn't even get to have... He's already got a page two. He's already got it as a key page. So, um, he's not even going to get benefit from page one. So, I'm not sure what to do for uh, Pedro. Pedro's getting really kind of screwed, to be honest. And then we're going to do... Um, pup puppet page one and Mumu or Twin Swords. Okay, wait, you didn't get that mechanic? We never figured it out last time. I mean, I got it. I just didn't understand like fully. I guess I still get explaining then. I was trying to explain it since a long time. I, I, I got it. I just don't like, I don't understand how to do it, like how to unrevert it correctly. I just figured it out now. Like an easier way of like just removing it from whatever, whoever was using it um so that that is better okay so and now they are all equipped right um did i not um i'm attended i get any new cards that i can use or is it more or less the same uh like sharp nails actually sharp nails uses everything i don't think sharp nails would be good for this what about an aut automated movement it uses uh bash Gain two haste next scene, add two power to next die. That seems good to me. Oh, I already have it on there. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is fine. And I'm going to be using Yasad for a lot of um, games or a lot of missions now because I, I they are smooth brain and, uh, and that's how I need to play. Because <laughs> clearly I cannot be trusted with galaxy brain. Director, how could this even be considered tolerable? Suppress your feelings and remind yourself, money, fame, and power rule over this world. He may be a color, but that does not excuse the severity of a fixer who doesn't even belong to our association, setting us all up. He's doing it so blatantly, too. So what? Are you going to betray the association, kill branch manager Thelma, and then kill the blue reverb for our freedom? I don't see a way out of this. I heard even the smiling faces are involved. This is rotten to the core. Director, what has become of the core values of the Shi? 
the very identity of the association. If you want to overthrow the system, have patience. It can get even more meta with coming mechanics. Gotcha. Sharpen your strength. There is nothing we can do in our current state. The director is right. We can't do anything about it right now. Damn it. He's uh, leaving us all uh, with all these dangerous requests, knowing that we were fatigued. Director Yujin will rise to become the president of Xi one day. We'll be able to shake up this corrupted system once that time comes. We are Section 2. Our role is to simply take care of the tasks uh, given to us. Director, we've been uh, dealing with urban nightmare class cases for 10 consecutive days. Taking out the patriarch of the Naraku clan, uh, the retrieval of oblivion ingots, and destruction the destruction of the fragment from beyond, demolishing the thin beef skirt factory. Excuse me, you cannot call your associ association the thin beef skirt factory. I don't think anything should be called thin beef skirt factory. I don't even like saying thin beef skirt <laughs> Ugh. Eliminating the captain of the Steel Comrades just yesterday. We had to resolve all these requests in the last 10 days without even a break. We normally shouldn't be ha handling more than one such case per week. Most fixers of the Southern Branch Section 2 have already died, and none of those who survived are in good enough condition to proceed with another request, including us. We're on the brink of a breakdown, both physically and mentally. You've seen how Section 3 and its associate offices got wiped out in a wave of unreasonable requests, and the same is happening to us now. <laughs> Yikes forever. Most of all, your condition is looking worse than any of us, Director Eugen. You stood at the front and fought more vehemently than anyone to keep others from getting hurt. Wonder if Bimple is going to get deft? Broken parts can be mended and wounds can be sewn up. Your injuries are simply too severe to be healed up in a day or two, Director. Everyone in Section 2 has suffered damage that would take much longer than a few days to recover. In fact, unless we have K Corp's singularity or something. You worry too much. We'll handle the library requests just like any other requests we've done so far. He probably will. It would be really funny. What? What would be funny? What, what is happening? What? Director Eugen, even if we were to handle this job successfully, they'll still hand us yet another absurd case. Valentin has a point. We might have to re receive endless requests until Section 2 is annihilated and you are killed, Director. I do have plans. In the end, the root of this matter lies with the blue reverb. We aren't hand, uh, heading to the library simply to our, obey our superior's orders. Our objective is to retrieve the books of the musicians of Bremen. Skirt is one of the most flavorful cuts of beef. <laughs> and even though it's also one of the tougher cuts with a lot of connective tissue, it's still a great steak for grilling. Um, yeah, I was thinking of something else. I don't seek, I don't know that you don't seek the weird of their name. You don't, uh, I, I had, I, listen, I, 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 I was, uh, I was thinking of a different word, uh, which I will not say. <laughs> They're what we need to uncover the blue reverbs plots. What do you mean? I received a tip off that the person who appeared to be the leader of a syndicate named the Musicians of Bremen spoke with the blue reverb some time ago. Are you suggesting that the books of the musicians could contain information about the blue reverb? We will at least be able to find out what he is conspiring. Then the reason you sent full stop a office to assassinate the Church of Gears was also I understand your intention, but acquiring that information isn't going to be the end of it. Never grilled a steak moment. Never ha never fired up a spa moment. What exactly are you planning to do? I will take my own measures once this request is done. Can we actually trust this director? Can you promise us that you aren't going to harm yourself for the sake of section two? You've always been so self-sacrificing, director. You can count on me. I know my own life matters. We can't turn the tide if we're dead. Gather up the ones who can still move and fight, and we don't want to bring anyone who will only prove to be a burden there. Understood. 
She's still honest to a fault. Are you really sure you're just a small, no-name fixer? Even I can tell that your connections are simply too broad and deep for a mediocre fixer at this point. To answer your question, yes, I'm only a grade 9 fixer. That's after I fell to rock bottom in a turn of events, though I used to, to be a common fixer, really. Steak is overrated. True meat is 90% marinade. That's just soup. You're eating soup. I mean, I like soup too, but that's just soup. You can't call that steak. What? What grade were you at before then? Would you believe me if I said it was a kick-ass grade one fixer? It's honestly hard to believe, but if you say so. Wow, that was a lot less distrust than I expected. Anyway, I was just an ordinary fixer who mostly collected intel. That's why I get so many connections. Roland knows, like, everyone. I can only put up a decent fight now that now thanks to the new body you gave me and the library's powers. Lowland, just a grade 9 fixer. Never grilled a steak moment. You said trust is important in this business, right? Is it okay to see an acquaintance of yours die like that? It's unfortunate to see him struggle, yeah. Here's the thing though, we only saw things from their perspective. You think they're free from the blame of killing some other people who struggled for life and fought for change? I suppose not. That's how it is. Some Someone they killed must have been in circumstances as unfortunate as theirs. Well, unless they weren't. Point is, there's no way for everyone to be equally happy. It's a matter of perspective. So they opt to simply do their work without ever trying to get to know each other. Everyone has their own stories, but we can't give up ours for the sake of someone else's, like what we're doing. That's that, and this is this. Ugh. Hate that. <laughs> We've done all the first aid we could give, Director. Focus on the work for now. We'll take care of what we can first. Greetings, dear guests. Greetings, I am Eugen, Director of She's Section 2. Introduce yourselves, everyone. Huh? But when someone greets us, it's only polite for us to greet them back, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'm Tenma, Association as Associate Fixer in Section 2 of the She. Valentin, Associate Fixer in Section 2 of the She. I'm Angela, the Director and Librarian of my role's namesake. I came here through the invitation to acquire the books that are said to be here. Then may you find your books in this place, dear guests. Lowland's catchphrase re returns. I don't like Roland's catchphrase. I think it's cheesy. Is it just me or are they already damaged? Their their health looks like it's they're they're cut down a little bit. Um they seem weak to bashing, so this is just gonna be a win. Maybe. Chat. Like <laughs> There's no way he could just pea brain this. Look at their passives to find out. <laughs> no. Okay, let's look at their passives real quick. Um, after an ally dies, gain one strength and one endurance each scene for the rest of the act. Stacks up to two times. Starts a battle. Start the battle with 25% less HP. So there you go. So as soon as I kill one of them, they're all gonna go, oops, I didn't press the P button. So they just get a free attack. Look at Bimple giving them a handicap. Isn't that nice of Bimple? I did that on purpose. <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't even pee brain. I just no-brained. <laughs> didn't even press the pee button. Okay, that's one dead. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Space. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's two of them dead. 
Do they get that benefit right away or do they have to wait until the next turn? Because if they get it right away, that's a problem. If they don't, then killing multiple in one turn seems like just a win. Yo, Handrino, how are you doing? Yo, okay, why is Eugen so hurt? Oh, okay. <clears throat> This is going to be one of those circumstances. She's hurt from like previous battles, right? But she's going to have like ridiculous passives that let her just win. Restore two light upon using a page whose original cost is four or higher. A speed die becomes unavailable. Once per scene, respond to a one-sided attack with a block die. Roll two to six. No play, not played in clashes where both characters use a combat page. All dice gain plus four power all dice lose three power um okay after an ally dies gain one strength and endurance each scene okay so i have to kill her first right she starts with 75 less hp but she also has 348 health have someone said town of salem oh that's right i gotta do a uh, vote don't i See why this floor is an unga bunga floor? Oh, yeah, I do. Um, chat before this, uh, before we end Library of Ruina. Not that you know, there's there's another good half an hour of Library of Ruina. Um, what uh, what kind of uh, chat participation game would you all like for a second segment? I think I'm gonna miss the sec mid segment. Gotta uh, congratulate the matriarch on her birthday. You know how it is. Sad Neville sounds. Oh. So P brain is like going after. Oh, I see. This is uh, this is Eugen right here. You know what? Let's just try P brain. Get her. Kill the mimesis. Get them. As long as we don't kill them, then Eugen will be a cakewalk. Maybe. I mean, she's staggered. Just kill her. <laughs> Twin swords taking taking some nasty damage. Kill Eugen. Oh my god. That, I don't think that was Eugen. There's still some nasty uh, opponents here. Okay, so I unfortunately did kill one of them, so now Eugen is going to be harder. But that's fine. Should be fine. Uh. Oh. So, is that what you guys mean by death? Twin Swords got death. Yo. I'm just pee braining. I don't care. As long as I can kill Eugen, everything should be okay. Ouch. Staggered. You got death. He died. Ah. Oh, damn. Don't don't get staggered. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ooh. Uh, do I have no? I don't have any more cards there. Okay. Well, this isn't great, honestly. Staggered. No. This could be bad. Of Tenma. Well, that's a problem because we keep not killing Eugen. Oh, okay, Eugen's dead. Ouch. He says he as he's already dead. Okay, so this should be fine. I think I'll I'll, I'll be able to win this, no problem. They've got four health left. Come on, just win one. There you go. Just sneeze on them. 
51 roll <laughs> goes burr. He died, did. No battle sy symbols. That was a memorable guest. She was different in many ways, but still left a similar impression like a fixer I used to know. You have a fixer you used to know? No. Have you heard of Kali? Kali? He was uh, nicknamed the Red Mist. Oh, of course I do. She was the most distinct fixer, even among the colors. How'd you know her? She used to do all the cool stuff and then suddenly disappeared. Just, let's just say that she was a former colleague of mine. The red Mist was powerful. Really, that's the only way to put it. Powerful. She only took requests for others, not herself. I thought, man, it surely is true that you can do whatever you want when you're that strong. Show me mean beans. The floor of language and its librarian is... Gibura. Sheesh. This place stinks of cigarette smoke. We've got a heavy drinker down below and now a heavy smoker up above. Gotta smoke all I want now that I have a body that never gets sick. He must be Roland. Angela's helping hand. Yep, you know a lot for someone who just woke up. Wait, is this in the present? Oh, I see. Uh, Gebura is a new librarian. Damn. Okay. I didn't realize that. I thought this was like a flashback or something. Not sure if that really counts as sleep. I was forced to watch everything going on in the library so far in my dreams, so I don't feel all that refreshed. Well, that means you basically know what's up. You're a fixer, huh? Uh-huh. Just a grade 9, though. Don't you pull my leg. What are you here for? Angela may have been naive enough to buy into your lies, but you aren't fooling me. What are you talking about? Have we met before? You see, I have some experience as a fixer in my first life. I can get a rough estimate of a fixer just from their looks. And you're definitely more than some clumsy grade 9. Did you make a great scene and get demoted or something? This, things happened out there. I'm not lying about being a grade 9 fixer. I swear on my grandmom. I don't know what you're plotting to pull off, but you'd better stay in line as long as I'm here. Welcome to the floor of language. The only language you will be speaking is violence. I'm not going to spoil the power of this one. Okay. Some big boss you are. I wasn't plotting anything in the first place. Doesn't hurt to keep an eye on a fixer who made a big enough mess to be demoted to the bottom, unless you're just a fraud. That's enough talking for now. You get me the books and I'll figure out the language. What makes you think you're so much better than me? What was your grade? The Red Mist. The Red Mist? What the hell? So, the Red Mist works for Angela? Floor of Language. The Floor of Social Sciences. The Patron Librarian's chested. Is this the smell of coffee? Hey, uh, Roland. Here, why don't you take a comfy seat and drink some coffee? Oh, hi, Chesed. I'm a bit flattered by your hospitality. Gotta show some solidarity with a fellow librarian, no? Alright, guess I'll try my first cup in a while. Who is just a frog? I don't know. What? I'm off for now. See you, Neville. Is this really coffee? Sure, it's not spoiled? That's odd. I made sure to brew high-quality Kenya BB. Maybe I haven't quite mastered the art of reconstructing materials within the library yet. Ugh. Why don't you try it yourself? If you'll excuse me, it's a perfectly fine cup of fragrant coffee, though. But it's way too bitter. Are you sure this thing is coffee? Red Mist, otherwise known as the strongest person to exist. This blend is known for being acidic, to be fair. Uh, what I don't understand is, um, didn't Roland say that he had met the Red Mist and, and that he respected her or admired her or whatever and then why is he surprised to see that she's in the library you would think that he would recognize her floor of cheese floor of friendship and tactical nukes what isn't coffee just supposed to be a stuffy bitter drink you can put sugar in Say, hey, Roland, are you from the back streets? Um, oh, well, kind of, yeah. Heck, it's the coffee man everyone has a crush on. I knew it. You gave me the exact same reaction Callie made back when I brewed coffee for her. Wait, who's Callie? It's a Gibbera. Ever heard of the Red Mist? 
Well, it's kind of funny to imagine that the legendary Red Mist made the same expression as mine from drinking some coffee. Her face was priceless, all right. You're talking about your first life, right? Yep, back when we were at the laboratory in the outskirts. Coffee is for donates. Yo. Yo. I guess things were cheery back then. The mood was upbeat for a while. It was just a shabby laboratory situated in a corner of the outskirts. 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 Uh, but for me, it was uh, cozier than any luxurious place within the city could be. And then tragedy suddenly befall, befalls? Befalls? I wouldn't say it was sudden. I, it slowly seeped in, rather. I can get that. Sometimes think that maybe the tactic, uh, tragic event that struck me didn't come out of nowhere after all. I was already getting drenched in it. It was doomed to happen from the beginning. Lowland uh, didn't met the Red Mist, working in different parts of the city, which is like a size of the continent, by the way. Oh, wow. Roland only knew oh, uh, of the Red Mist. Oh, okay. I never really said things went wrong from the start, though. Just talking about my experience. Anyways, the coffee didn't really suit my taste, but I appreciate it. Let's give this work our best shot. You bet. We still have plenty of time. I have... I don't... I don't have much of a chance to learn the language. Okay, I will. I will try and speak goodly. You bet. We still have plenty of time, so let's talk things out at, the, at our leisure. Kelly's <laughs> now. Don't worry. That's. I think that's it. I think that's. I knew there was going to be a fire alarm today, but I didn't know when. But I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't think that there's going to be like testing all day like there was last time. Callie's now uh, fond of coffee after I, trying it for some time, so I'm sure you can eventually come to enjoy it, Roland. Well, here's hoping. So we have floor of social sciences opened. Look at them. Look at them. Look at how many floors we have now. And we have to do some amnos for them as well. Pinocchio! Oh, oh, oh! Roland's got... Uh, We've got a floor for Roland. We got to. We should re-equip them with the uh, uh, gun squad. I can't remember. Is it Lyway's page that has is gun squad? Range combat pages. Yeah. So who's using Lyway's page? Did I just destroy something? Because I noticed they don't... Is it Alec then? No, it's not Alec. Where are the combat? Okay, Tamaki's page. That's what we need. We're using Tamaki's page. And then uh, Steven's page. And then, um, last one here. Tamaki's page. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, that's wrong, actually. Because it's... Oh, I know it. It's correct. That's correct. Okay. Um, and I, I think I messed up someone's page. Yeah, I, I messed up Roland's page. It only took me several months, but I kind of almost understand how this game works now. Okay, Tamaki's page. And then, uh, is I'm a ten Oh yeah, we have to give them speed as well. Lyway's page. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, Gyeong. 
I have to give them young. Oops. Okay, that's not right. What about just you? Nope. So I'm gonna have to find it. Where is Giong? Lolan gets absurd after this abnorm. Uh, sadly, he is very underused and underrated in this stage. I I think I was just ge using Giong's page um, for the speed. Uh, and that was it. I don't know where Giong is. Didn't mean to do that. True that Roland gets good after this, but you also get like five more floors to play with. Please, good English. Pinocchio. Much cards, very books, lots of pages. True. You're correct. Pimple Giong. Giong me. Young me has um, extra speed. That's why I was using him. Okay, I'm a tan is set up correctly. What about void? Void is not quite. We can add that on there and we have the speed. Good. So the only one who's not set up correctly is Roland himself. We need to give him a speed from something. Maybe just Dante. We could throw a puppet on there. Blunt dice. What kind of uh, what kind of combat cards does he use? He uses piercing, piercing and blunt. So we could give him something with piercing and blunt. Uh, when attacking a target with a damage type, they're weak or fatal to deal plus one damage. That could be nice. Dante would be fine. On a successful blunt attack, deal two bonus stagger damage. That could be nice. They do deal blunt damage. Except I don't have that much extra power. So I'll have to take a uh, concentration off there. So we're just gonna add speed and concussion. Uh, oh, I guess I can't add anything else. So uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, uh, we're gonna do Roland's um, Abno, and then I might call it there for library, but I am gonna take a quick break. I have to go to the washroom. I'll be right back. What happened to my music? Why does it keep ending? Hold on. I have to make sure that it's set up correctly. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. I, it's on loop now. I'll be right back.
Okay. Bimple is twitching. Why is Bimple twitching? New DLC for the Long Dark. Yeah. Uh, if you own the Long Dark, I, I saw a tweet saying that you don't have to buy or pre-order the DLC. You just own it. It's an expansion pass. It's it's a DLC, basically. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh my god. You better not. God damn it. Um, am I right in understanding that whenever I play a card, then this guy copies that card? Copies the second assistant librarian's combat bookshelf. While this character is alive, all Pinocchios gain either two strength or two endurance at the start of each scene. So I've got to kill these minions, like, right away. I mean, I'm pea-braining it, obviously, but... Ouch. Wow, they just, uh, they just kill me, huh? Your municipal company are actual trolls. There's no need for this amount of fire alarm testing. I, I agree. Okay, so I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um... I thought that if I, if I, um like focus these guys that what I'm doing like nothing huh Bimple didn't read. I read. I don't. I didn't understand. There's a difference. Take after copies the first assailant librarian's combat shelf. So who is the first assailant? Is it the first person that attacks them? Copies the second assistant. Sorry, first assa assistant librarians. Is this? No, that's not it. Who is the first assistant? Is this the first assistant? Removes all dice from page and copy the dice on the opponent's page. Remove all dice from the from page and copy the dice. Uh, is this a good um, abnormality to use the discard meta with? Must have been the audio detection. This is the only original abnormality in Ruina. Probably not, because in Lobotomy Corp, you were given a device called Pinocchio used to detect when machines lie. I have to keep fixing my uh, puppet. Okay. Um, how about instead of that, I just I just do the next story, and then we'll call it there, and then I'll figure out how to do the uh, that abnormal next week. And also, I have some books to burn or pages to burn. Oh dang! Giant robots. Anton 578 21 79 82 13 numbers more numbers more numbers numbers I knew it it's pretty much impossible to understand the language of sweepers without an interpreter to inter translate them for you 
I can promptly translate their speech as long as it has the form of a language. Oh, seriously? You can make sense of all those out of uh, those few sentences and decode a whole language from them? I'm that capable. It is becoming clear that the night is no longer ours alone. I know, I know. We have fewer and fewer places to properly dine at with our families. I hear that the families who dine at the Nest of Elcorp are recently having a hard time seeing what is in front of them because of the mist covering the area. I hear some families even got lost in the fog and failed to leave. Uh, are we not letting mother know? Classic 4152 moment. If mother knows, she will wage an all-out war against the Index. We are not certain enough to lo risk lose, uh, losing our families to battle. If it is true that the Index truly has betrayed us, and if mother is too late to realize their treachery, many of our families will starve. They will slowly die out. Less food means mother will have difficulty fostering new family members. We all have our own homes, our own families, and our own children. I am not advocating neglect, I am simply saying that we need to practice caution. Are these, uh, the puppets that make thread? You know that it has only been a week since those despicable filth known as the carnival raided the dens of our brothers and ate our families. Five days ago, Lira, Lihiro de Loop invaded our my younger siblings' den and brutally killed two families. Three days ago, a proxy of the Index laid waste on our neighbors. Two day, days ago, Puppeteer took my children and yes, I know, I know that those incidents all happened at night. I know that our presence is not as powerful as before. I know that we have lost our dominance over the nighttime of the nest. Mothers should be aware as well. We know that we need more space to use as our den. Then why? We will only lose more of our dens if we get involved in bigger conflicts. If we were to engage in a full-fledged battle against the Index, we will have even less time in our hands. We must make it through on our own. What will we possibly do? It is the library. We must go to the library. Oh yeah, that's that makes sense. Instead of uh, instead of one bad, let's let's consider another even worse bad. I know that the library has the books of those who worked for the the thumb and the index. Have you received its invitation? I have. With this, we can confirm if the index truly has turned its back on mother and our families. These lads is why you don't want to be at night in the back streets. They sweep the streets out of. Uh, anyone alive on the streets. They liquefy fr uh, flesh and turn it into the juice they wear on their backs. Jeez. We are not too late by then, that is. I understand what you mean, uncle. Let us call our neighbors. Let us head to the library together. Let us tell our children to lock the doors and not let strangers in before we leave. Let us, as parents, protect our mother, our neighbors, our family, and our children with our own hands. Are we really getting sweepers as guests here? They have the, cap the capacity to collectively go somewhere with a clear purpose at a time that isn't night and talk so fluently? That's funny, I expected them to be a little coarser. I once got an interpreter to try to talk to him before. I thought they could only speak in jumbled words back then. But boy oh boy, look at them using complete sentences, and they're so talkative with each other too. That means the interpreter I paid an arm and a leg for was a total scam and a ripoff. Are the sweepers all composed of family members? It's probably just a symbolic term they chose to forge bonds between each other. I doubt they're actually families by blood. It's metaphorical, like the titles most of the other syndicates use. Head allows this and actually supports these sweepers. I heard they kidnapped children from the outskirts and the back streets. I didn't realize suggesting looking too deep into sweepers. They are all over the back streets and the outskirts. I don't think they have much to do with the freedom you're looking for anyway. Dear neighbors, this is the library. This is the place the scum of the back streets have been rattling on about. We did not expect to come to the library ourselves. Greetings, dear guests. Are you our family? There's no way I am. Now, is there? However, you speak in the language of our family. We can speak with other members of our family. I try to talk to the guests on their level these days, as you can see. I'm impressed. This is surprising. 
Behold, neighbors, the library is not like any other place. I know, this is the first time we have, our, our, we are having a real conversation with someone who is not our family. <clears throat> family, family. Could you stop with that horrid rubbish? Family is important, it is not horrid. We apologize, we are simply here to take the books we desire. And in regards to the mist covering this nest, do you know anything about it? You'll find out when you read the books, no? That is true. All we want is to acquire the books we want to find. We will be satisfied. They fall under the human category, unlike Angela. Also, each book you get from the guests can be read as many stories about the world. Really? Did not know that. How do I do that? I'm a little bit disappointed. I guess there's going to be three acts. Gibber. You guessed right. I'm going to pea brain this. We'll see how this goes. I didn't even see if they're weak to bash or a blunt, I guess. It looks like they are enough. One hundred hour moment. Bada bow bow. Bada bow bow. Bow bow. Do 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 do. Um. Okay. So what do they got going on? They are weak-ish to bash, but penetration would have been better. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind playing optimally, obviously. Staggered, son. Get a mimesis. Destroy him. Oh. Okay. So they they have some kind of like flesh eating uh move. Did mimesis get savaged? Yes, she did. That's not good. Sweeper is casually becoming immortal. You have the meta build and metaphor and you say that. <laughs> you mean uh, pen? Which one's pen again? It's, uh, isn't it Tifereth? Isn't Tifereth pen right now? Like, this is going fine-ish. Um, I don't know if they'll let me use a different team after I lose with this one. Sometimes it seems inconsistent about that. Uh, twin had to run across the entire field, I think. Mimesis is not doing so well. Uh, ah, she, she, she made a comeback. All right, it's going fine. Kill him. Yeah, no. Yeah, there we go. Book of Sweeper obtained. It's going to take a little bit longer. Longer than it should if I use the correct meta build, for sure. But listen, I just love that. I love the P button so much. You can still sweep them. I don't know if he has maximum light. I, I, I think I chose the only one who didn't have maximum light. Okay, that's another one done. They 
They gain they gain health when they make su successful clashes. We be sweeping the sweepers. We do be. You can casually deal plus 400 damage with the trash disposal card they have in the late game. Jesus. Okay. So should I switch to Tifereth for this next scene? I think so. Let's do Tifereth. We do be do be do. We could try. Well. I know that pea braining it is not gonna be a good idea now. Get out of here. I don't wanna I don't wanna, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um Let's start out small. Is actually playing the game. We'll do a refine because I believe refine will uh power up. Mm, I guess we won't do a refine because I, I need to clash with uh, a different member here Like I say, I'm just gonna set up my Why does uh, Mackie I guess Mackie's a new <laughs> Mackie doesn't even have cards <laughs> I did not set up Mackie at all. So Mackie's just gonna die um, Say goodbye to Mackie. Mackie is not long for this world. Pierce works best on nuts, uh, net sack floor, not on Tiff. Well, I think I only set up Tiffereth with piercing because I needed to uh, deal with the, the their abnormality, and their abnormality was uh, weak to, to piercing. Like these guys are. And that worked out well. So we're just gonna... I'm gonna put the... Uh, justice on them so that the someone gets villained do a refine this is good can we Eh, this is fine i remember now we put all the nets pierce on tiff for despair yeah goodbye mackie okay this uh, this is not going well this is not going well please <laughs> okay there we go Almost staggered him. Did stagger him. This is good. Can't wait until the king of greed, Abno. <laughs> Why? Because then I'm going to hate life itself. Oh, we got a lot of staggered nuggets right now. Ooh, almost killed him. Yes, no. Kill. Yes, stagger. Exactly. How did I know? We recovered a bit of health on Tiff. I can't believe Mackie's still alive. Go, Mackie. There we go. This is working out okay. Mackie is still somehow alive. I can't believe it. Oh, 
I want to I want to make it through this uh, and keep Mackie alive. slowly but I am slowly but surely winning here that abnormality Jibra's next abno is known as second only to the queen of hatred and difficulty I'm gonna have Mackie over here fight the uh, staggered If they didn't recover their health, then I would be done already. <laughs> okay, he's done. He's dead. Why does the music keep switching? Is that a is that a bug? Didn't have that much problem with Queen of Hatred though. Am I dead? Uh, you're not in this combat right now. Oh, damn, that would have been so nice. Mackie alive. Go Mackie, Mackie OP. Please nerf. Oh wow, that did not work out at all. Wow. Staggered. Please kill. Go Mackie! <gasps> Mackie in for the clutch! <laughs> Music gets more intense. I feel like they're uh they have more emotion level right now. I feel like that's kind of what's going on. They've got more light as well. Mackie might die here. Staggered. Dead. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the music keeps switching. There we go. This is music from the wrong floor. I, I thought so too. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so this is the last floor. Um, oh, I have to use either Yasad or uh, Tiferous. I can't, I can't choose. Oh, I see floors available too. So I guess we'll use Yasad. This is possibly not going to go well. They are weak to. Oh god, this is not gonna go well. I can't use Tifrith as well, again because Tifrith only got squeezed by with luck. Luckily, Tifra, um, Yasad has like really good morale right now, so, you know, should be good. We should be able to wipe the floor with them, maybe. Ouch.
Mimesis, I, I worry for Mimesis' life right now. Mimesis is very, very close to death. If she gets staggered, then it's all over for her. They have more emotions, so their music plays instead of yours. I kept, it kept going back and forward on the emotion level, so, uh... Okay, let's just set up our clashes. Twin Swords, you're alive. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to set up anything more interesting than this for Twin Swords, because I used a lot of pretty intense combat moves. We're just gonna go all out on uh, this guy here. He's only got three health yet left, but I'm pretty sure that if he dies, the rest of them will uh, switch over. Wait, did he just gain health? What happened there? Book of Lyra obtained. Okay, I mean that went relatively all right. Okay, and now we just beat the snot out of that critter there. Okay. Told you these guys can be immortal. Become immortal, damn. Just casually coming back from three health to 40. Okay, well, we're, we're whittling them down. Mimesis is still alive. Good for Mimesis. Okay, we're gonna set up our clashes again. And now everyone else is free to just kind of wail. Which is great. Everyone's got 30 speed dice right now. Which is nice. Uh, I'm not really going to hold back anything here. Because uh, apparently they can just come back from death. Oh my god. Go twin swords. Almost staggered. Kill him. Yes. Sweeper obtained. There's a card that makes them immortal. That would require me to, to actually look at what they're doing, though. <laughs> Depre a repressed flesh. There we go. We're just going to uh, um, delegate... Staggered, and they have the funny number for health. Nice. Mimesis got through this. That was great. I still don't understand this game. Well. Oh, you def have to make me rename a character. Oh, yeah. I can definitely do that. Do you want to be on um, Team Tifereth, or do you want to be on uh, someone else's team? Boy, that was exhausting. Those sweepers sure are persistent. What kind of deal could have made them so desperate, I wonder? The most I can tell is that the sweepers are losing their ground, so they tried to make a deal to do something about it. Could we get to know more? No idea. Maybe the invitation will show us the answer eventually. Mimi is an MVP. Same time, same time as me. You want to be on Team Yasad? You seem to be weirdly fixated on the sweepers, by the way. What's up with that? Something about them smells suspicious. They, see, they do have an awful smell, I'll give you that. Take a whiff of those filthy bandages and your appetites. Are you insane? Can't even crack a joke. Anyway, this is the first time our Miss Library Director let her intuition speak so much. I guess it won't hurt to keep an eye on this case. 
Nuggets on Jabura or Tiflor don't live long, so probably a bad idea to name anyone on there. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Team Pedro is, or sorry, Team Yasad is full because we got Twin Swords, Pedro, and Mimesis. Um, unless one of them want to get transferred to a different floor. Uh, and apparently Jabura and Tiff floor people die on there quickly, so that's not a great floor to be on. Um, we do have an opening on Team Netzak. If you would like to be on Team Netzak, there's an opening on Team Hod. If you're interested in that, and um, there's plenty of openings for Malkuth because I am never going to use them. Uh, I would recommend Team Hod or Netzak if you want to be uh, renamed. This game is more of an enigma than the enigma code. You're not. I, I don't blame you for thinking that. Like cry. I'm fine. Nets. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh god. All right. Librarian. Here we go. Customize. This is, uh, Faust. What do you want to look like? What kind of hairstyle do you want? Let me turn up the brightness so you can see the hairstyles. Do you want something, uh, you know, with a bit of a... Uh, you want something with an OC flavor, you know? Do you want something with some protagonist vibes? That looks cool. There we go. What color do you want? Do you want your hair to be your uh, rouge? So we'll, we'll make it. Well, actually, we could make it rouge. You know, that's a good color. Red hair with bangs and dark skin. Red hair with bangs. Okay, you want bangs. There we go. It's either that one or like this one. Perfect. Oh, I just changed it. Did you like it when I had it? What I had originally? Something like this. Okay. Um. All right. Then we gotta get a hair, a face style for you. There you go. Perfect. The last one. All right. Damn it. I gotta find the bangs again. It was near the end. Yes, curse chat delay. Sorry about that. You look like uh, Android 18. Um. Oh, okay, how about this one? I'm gonna wait until I actually see you say something in chat This one for bangs She bangs she bangs. Oh, hey, she moves she move That's kind of nice or actually I like I kind of like that It's got like a, a flamey look 34 You like 34, okay, thanks for the, the number actually helps a lot You want do you want seven or the one that it's currently on Seven or 14 And 14, okay There we go and uh, I like the face it's got right now Let's see There we go, that actually looks good for <laughs> You can get a Sanji look You can read books in credenzia tab by the way, okay
I think this is a really good look, actually. Uh, how's this? Do you want darker? <laughs> I think this is this is one of the best ones I've, I've done so far. Feel free to uh, 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 like micromanage me on on the skin color. Yep, that works. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you want to look like? Do you want to look like a clown? <laughs> do you want to have the uh, samurai look? That's probably pretty good. We got to give you an OC look. You could look like John Bloodborne. This is this has got OC protagonist vibes all over it. What's his name? Hard anime. <laughs> His name is Animami. He comes from a different universe and he has the power of all of the Chaos Emeralds combined and also the Dragon Balls. He's got six Dragon Balls and 18 Chaos Emeralds and he can stop time and also uh, uh, destroy universes. The Doc Ock one. I I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> There's something funny about him looking casually OC. <laughs> He's just like very like, yeah, don't worry. I I'm from uh, Universe XYZ. All right, Credenza, we can we can read some lore. Main story. These are going to be um, cutscenes. What we want to do is look at the books. I'm just posting Ruina memes in Discord stream chat. Please ch choose an episode you'd like to read. Oh my god. Yo, this game is absurd in its depth. Listen, uh, I would love to do this right now. Truly, uh, but I we we just don't have time. I'm afraid There's just not enough time in the universe to be reading walls of text. I, I I'll, Listen, I would like to do this Maybe in a different stream, but right now uh, we've we've run our the, the course on ri library of ruin I almost said library of Luina. You can get all of the lore There's a lot of lore you underestimate how much lore there is. So much lore. We would be remiss if we didn't burn some books. Let's burn some books. Well, yeah. Uh, did we get the good books? I don't think I did. No, I'm still missing some in this one. And, uh, in this one, I think I have trash disposal. I don't know. Is it the, am I looking? Okay. It's, it's the highlighted number. I, 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 I the, the highlighted number is what I have and I'm looking for to get the gray number. So we need, or am I wrong about that? I don't know how it works. The, the game always like displays information in the opposite way that I would understand. Oh boy, Gibbera got an abnormality to fight. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, um... Only a couple... Okay, we need to burn a bunch of books here. Or, or, or is the gray ones, like, how much is left? You kicked everyone's butt, Mimi. You did kick everyone's butt. You, you survived, like, a, an absurd number of rounds. So this one still has like a, am I, if it's highlighted, does that, does that tell me how many are left that I need to obtain? I think so. Okay. We're good there. 
Um, there's also another set of books I need to burn here. Big made me into anime auto act <laughs> auto -oct Octavius. I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. Okay, I think we're good. I don't actually need to get all of the pages because uh, whatever pages I get gets duplicated like a, a bazillion times. Okay. Oh, there's still one page I didn't collect any of in there. And a couple in here as well. All right. Eugene has one of the most interesting pages out there. Okay, I think I got one of each. No, nope, there's still endless battle. Oh, and uh, boundary of death that I have to obtain. I need boundary of death. So glad no grind mod works. Yeah, me too, honestly. Imagine if I had to burn all of these books without just like getting them. God, that would be such a pain in the butt. Like I have to I, look how many times I've had to burn Eugen in order to get this one combat page. 20 pages. How many times would I have to fight Eugen in order to get that? Okay, so if it tells if it's highlighted, does that tell me how many I've collected or how many I need to collect? Because I am very confused on that. See here it says zero of five. Does that mean I have to burn a bunch more of these? Let me let me burn them and if I get them then I'll understand finally. Okay, some of them are highlighted. I don't I don't know how it works. I have, I think I have boundary of death already. I, st I still need like extreme edge. I think, I don't know. Like, I, I just don't get it. I'm so glad. Rosie, I love this point. Someone in chat is gonna explain it to me. I don't get it. It means you can get zero of five more of that thing. So that means, okay, so a reading a Superman comic in Doomsday just turned into a kid into goo. You don't need more, more than one of Boundary of Death. You can only put one in her deck. Okay, but th the thing is, like, do I have any? Cause it, I, I like, I don't understand the way it, it, it displays. Uh, listen, I know I'm like in incredibly smooth brained but it, sometimes I, the game confuses me on a very fundamental level. Like if I go here, do I have boundary of death? I don't see boundary of death. At all. <laughs> I see some of the things I, I collected. Uh, but no boundary of death. Where is that phrase from? You don't need more than one boundary of death. But I don't think I have any is the problem. Like, I don't think I got any cards from this. Otto says it to Peter in Spider-Man 2. Okay, there's a boundary of death. I know I've gotten one now. So if I look at it now... Okay, there we go. This is zero of six. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna do 20 of each book whenever I get new books. Because that way I don't have to think about it anymore. You can't see it without equipping it. Ah, I see. Chat, what kind of games do we want to play for the second segment? It's going to be a uh, chat participation segment. Please let me know. We could do um, we could do more Jackbox. 
we could do um, more Barrow Trauma if we're feeling ambitious. We could do... Um, let me see what... Uh, did anyone get Town of Salem? We could do more Goose Goose Duck Duck or whatever it is. 